some of the most important things when we come out to emergencies to basically assess their normal parameters, so temperature, pulse and respiration. Uh, there's a short video on how to take a temperature, um, but what we're going to do is the respiration and pulse of a horse. So the easiest place to do it, just underneath the jawline, there's actually an artery just underneath here, which if you get your fingers right underneath, it feels like a piece of string essentially. Not always helpful if a horse is chewing, but if you feel underneath there, you can actually hear it or feel it pulsate. And literally, you're just going to feel it pulse, pulse, and counting that over 15 seconds and then times it by four is obviously going to give you the number of heartbeats per minute. And a normal heart rate should be around about the 30s, basically, in a normal resting horse. The alternative is if you do have a stethoscope, you can buy them really cheaply online, is where actually to listen. And the majority of the times, the easiest place is if you come down to the point of their elbow and you just come just above it, just here, this is the easiest place to place, or area to place the stethoscope on. So placing it there, and all you're listening for, we don't expect anyone to actually be doing anything sort of medical, but just listening for a lub and a dub. So a lub dub equals one, lub dub two, lub dub three. And again, you should just do it over 15 seconds, times it by four, and you'll get your um, heart rate per minute. It's a good idea sometimes when to get to know what your normal heart rate for your, your horse is. Some horses have a higher resting heart rate than others, others have lower ones. And we do take heart rate as a good indicator of pain, particularly when we're looking at colics. Another thing that we like to also look at is respiratory rate as well. So respiratory rate is dead easy. You can either look on the flank or you can go up by the nostrils. Sometimes the flank is a little bit harder to look at, but you'll be able, to be able to see the flank come out and then come in, and obviously that's classed as one breath. This should be in the region of about eight to 12 breaths per minute. So again, doing that over 15 seconds, times it by four, you've got it per minute. Your alternative is literally, which is probably sometimes a little bit easier, once he has had a mouthful, is just to stick your hand over the nostril and just feel each time that they breathe out. And then again, counting that over 15 seconds, times it by four, and then you have your heart rate and your respiratory rate. And if you let us know those, what's normal for your horse, that will probably help us with some of our diagnostic tests as well. If you're ever in any doubt in an emergency situation though, just give us a buzz and we'll come out and do all this for you. Thanks very much.